behind you. If she's hungry enough, she'll eat, they said. Who is hungry enough? Bring a friend, they said. Oh, good girl, yes. Yes, okay, make her take another step forward. Yes, oh my gosh. I have another carrot. I think she saw it. Yes! It's a piece of willow. I don't want to. Take another step. Take another step. This way. Come on. Molly, push her in there. Come on. Come on, Penny. All I have. Got a bunch of drinks. We're the closest we've ever been, you guys. Yeah. Come on, Pen. Yes! <laughs> She's just taking us out. Make her say, take one more step. I no. take her back and you want me to go push her from behind? Sure. You're doing it, pretty girl. You're doing it. You're doing it. I got more carrots. Good girl. Yes. Come on. Yes. Oh, that's for taking a step. Come on. Sassy. Come on. Go ahead, smell it. Smell it. See if you like it. Good girl. Yes. Put it in that part. Yes. Come on. Take a step. Come on. Come on. All right, so half of our morning finished. I wanted to really try and get her in because I don't want to set a precedence where every time we try she wins every time but we did a compromise today because we have other things we have to do we can't just spend seven hours tra trailer training which I wish we could yeah, I will so we compromised on this she's got two feet high up on the trailer today's the farthest she's ever come got her head inside the trailer and she's having her grain and tomorrow I'll put her grain a little tiny bit further and then the next day a little bit further and then hopefully that will work. That's my goal. Day. What? We're doing, this every day. We're doing this every day. This mama's got to go for a trail ride this summer, Penny Pickle. We've got to go traveling, Missy. My goal is to get her in and out, in and out until she's so comfortable and then take her for a quick ride somewhere very close. Bring her back. Take her for a quick ride. Somewhere very close a few times. And probably bring a friend with her because even like on a on a ride, it, it's gonna still be stressful for her. But you guys should know that she is a, an experienced trail whore. She's trailered every weekend for months upon months. Like this girl knows how to trailer. She's not used to ramps as much. And she had a bad experience coming to our house because it was a long ride all by herself, ripped from her home. Good girl, yes.
So on the agenda today is to get this trailer cleaned and ready for the show this weekend. The next week is supposed to be nice and warm, so I have the girls on on pasture duty. We have scoop boots and we have cava ca cavellos. These are the cavellos and Chino has scoop boots and the scoop boots are by far a lot better. Right? How do you know? She's got She's got little feet. These slid right on like nobody's business. Like they just slid right on. I think they fit. Come on. Oh, good girl, yeah. What do you think? Good girl. Good girl, what do you think, Penny Pickle? Does it feel good? Does it feel good? I could tighten them a bit. I'm gonna measure her feet and make sure she's in the right size though before I ever use them. But I think they could be really good for her. I think they could be good for you because she is one of those horses that actually feels <laughs> picking up her feet pretty good. Uh oh, she might not be happy. I can't feel my finger. Why? Because it's cold. It's cold? I feel warm out here. No. All right, Pen, let me take him back. Look at this, you guys. I don't even have to measure. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see here. Can you guys see where the end of her hoof is and where the, where the end of the hoof boot is? Or the caval cavallo boot is. These are a perfect fit for my penny girl. I'm gonna bring them up to the house, clean them off. With these, we use vet wrap. You can buy a sock. Actually, we could make a sock. We might make a sock. Oh, it is actually cold. It's one degree. It's supposed to be eight degrees today. Come on, sun. I got my riding breeches on today. My full feet riding breeches. The ones that are a size 32 and always fit me, except for right now. They're a little tiny bit tight, like. Oh, so you got fat. Yeah, I gained like five pounds in the last month, which sucks. I hate when that happens, but it's okay. It's almost spring. Once I become aware of it, I can get it gone again. But yeah, like, just sneaks up on you. So we're headed to the bar. We're going early because it's St. Patrick's Day, and like the good Irish people that we are. No, we're not. You guys always get chocolate on St. Patrick's Day. What? Not only is it chocolate. No, we do not get chocolate. They woke up this morning and they're like, oh, it's St. Patrick's Day. Did you get us chocolate? And I'm like, no, I didn't get you chocolate. Like, but normally we get chocolate. No, coins. you never get chocolate on St. Patrick's Day. Ever. We There's don't. It's always like a hunt thing and we get chocolate coins. On Easter. Oh, you're right. We used to do that when they were really little. Every St. Patrick's Day when they were very young, uh, the leprechaun would hide those chocolate money, like the money that is chocolate, it looks like coins, and the leprechaun would leave them for years. That's fun, that was fun, but I guess you're too big now. See if she still locks her seatbelts or boots in. You still- I do not. You do not seatbelt your boots in? I do not, but they go in the back. All right, and we got the new saddle pad. Pad. All right, so we are in the McDonald's drive-thru and I wanted to ask you guys a question So so the show we're going to in two weeks not this sad not this Sunday, but next Sunday We're going to a show and I'm sponsoring a division So I'm responsible for bringing prizes for reserve champion and champion of the Of the jumper portion so the show is gonna have all the hunter shows in the morning and then in the afternoon It's gonna be the jumpers so we're making up like a little prize package for the jumper girls. So they'll be like teenagers. And so we're going to go to the tax store. But I want to know, what would you guys like to get in a prize bag for a show? I, we're at McDonald's and I was thinking like, what if I included a gift card for McDonald's? It's literally packed here. Like I did not know it was going to be this packed. But anyways, I was thinking what about like a gift card? And Gabby said McDonald's seems kind of not that good. I'm going to go to the tax store and get some things too. But if you were going to win a prize at a show, what would you want to have? Like treats or gloves or a crop? Like what kind of things would you like to get? Comment below so I have an idea of what we're going to get. You want horse treats? And a crop? What would you like? I don't know. I know. McDonald's. I asked Kaylee, I asked Paige, nobody knows what, like, what, what do you put in a, what do you want to win? If you don't know what a uh, shamrock shake is, I drank mine already. 
but essentially it's green and it's kind of minty and I'm probably never going to order one again. Gabby didn't like too much mint. Did I you like it to Gabby? You I didn't your... say I didn't like too much mint. She said she can't handle too much mint. Okay, after that shake, my pants fit a little less good. Whoa! Door. So we got out a new routine today. It is totally a new routine. So I got in a new routine today and I said, you guys go in that barn and set up yourself what you need and then we'll go get the horses. And that's what they set up. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna take a picture and send it to Fiona. So today we're working, we're practicing for our show. I see Chino, I see Finn. I don't see Storm and Storm is the man of the day. Storm is the man of the hour. Right. Oh, Finn. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness you had treats because he was thinking about it. Since when did Finn become like a thinking horse instead of a following horse? Hello. Where is Storm? I told you. Oh, there, by himself. All right. Enjoying time by himself. Just enjoying time by himself. Hopefully he's okay. Oh my gosh. That's the most sad thing I've ever seen in my life. What the heck? Hi, Chino. Okay, Finn, we're gonna go around because I don't want- Is there another horse there? There's no other horses. Just Storm. Is he coming? Is he actually coming? He looks away. He looks at her. Puts his head down. He's like, are you choosing me this time, mama? Oh, that is so sad. That's so sad. Literally every single horse from the herd is here. Every single horse right outside that barn, except for Storm with no blanket, all alone over at his own hay bale. I don't know if he got like sent away from the herd because he was bad or what happened, but he was all alone. Chance, but he's not like Willow. Good boy. That was so sad, Stormy Night. Yeah, just like Gabby. He doesn't really like people. So the chiropractor wants us to exercise Finn's leg before or after a ride. I like to do it before, kind of stretches him out. So we did that today. Sophie did it and then I did it. I like to, I like to be a part of that. That's one of my jobs when the girls are brushing and tacking up by stormy night. People be worried about you. They think that you feel lonely and abandoned. Do you feel abandoned? Yeah, then we show him he's all alone, sad at his own pile, or else he was the king of the castle and had his own pile of food all just for him. Is that what, is that what it was? Probably not. Yeah, I don't know. You're okay, right? You're okay. Right now, Gabby's training for a show that we're having in two weeks, so she's riding Chino in her lessons, and that might continue. She might ride Storm in occasional lessons. I don't know. I honestly have no idea how it will work out. We'll ride them as we see it. Like, if Gabby and Chino are doing great and they're prepared, then it'll be Storm's turn. Yeah, so the other thing I do when the girls are tacking up is I dig out the coconut oil and I soak Storm's tail, but then he has like residue of coconut oil in there. Poor guy probably gets chased all day. People wanting, the horses wanting to eat his tail. That's why he's alone. 
So Kaylee showed up at the barn and her dad, so I was talking to her for a bit and then making plans with them and then uh, it's late. I don't know how you women do it that have to like have kids and work and or school and like how the heck how the heck do you ride your horse? That's what I want to know. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. I love you, Penny Pickle. Don't you know that you're beautiful?